On March 22, 2016, the village of Tinley Park, its trustees, and several village employees were sued in Cook County Circuit Court, Chancery Division, to avoid the illegal tampering done to the Legacy Code zoning ordinance that occurred in the fall of 2015. The lawsuit alleges that Amy Connolly, planning director, and Thomas Melody, village attorney from the firm Kleinthorpe Jenkins, intentionally engaged in behaviors and took actions that tampered with the zoning code to benefit the Buckeye Community Hope Foundation, which needed the zoning code to be tampered with or cleaned up, as Buckeye called it, for Buckeye's reserve project to move forward. Without Connolly and Melody, the lawsuit contends that the zoning code would not have been tampered with. Let's take a look at what's in the lawsuit. Count 1. The tampering done to the legacy code is void because no proper legal notice of the planning commission hearing was ever done. Connolly and Melody took actions which benefited Buckeye that did not comply with Illinois law requiring proper notice of changes to a zoning ordinance like the legacy code. In count two, the suit alleges the tampering to the legacy code should also be void because it violated the due process rights of Tinley Park homeowners whose interests were shunted to the side in favor of what an out-of-state company Buckeye wanted and needed. In count three, the tampering done to the legacy code was arbitrary, capricious, and unreasonable. Since the legacy code was put in place to guarantee desperately needed commercial development for Tinley Park, when Connolly and Melody took actions to have the commercial required wording removed, they went against the entire point of what the legacy code was supposed to do. Because of these facts, the lawsuit alleges their actions are void. This lawsuit is the best way for the people of Tinley Park to stop the Buckeye development and hold their government accountable. Since at least 1990, the village of Tinley Park has been trying to encourage commercial development along the Oak Park Avenue corridor that runs from downtown to the Convention Center Hotel District. In 2009, the village came up with the Legacy District idea and spent a lot of time and effort to develop the Legacy Plan, which was a development plan designed to create street-level commercial with residential above it in that Oak Park Avenue corridor. The village also wanted to create an iconic southern gateway into Tinley Park that would draw people from the convention center and hotels through the gateway along the Oak Park Avenue corridor to the businesses and attractions downtown. A lot of time, effort, and money went into coming up with the legacy plan, which was meant to be the road map to a prosperous future for Tinley Park with more sought-after commercial development. In 2011, the legacy code was written as a zoning ordinance meant to guarantee that what was in the legacy plan would actually happen. The commercial development sought after in the legacy plan was required to happen because of the legacy code. The village is now being sued because employees and trustees took part in tampering with that legacy code. The lawsuit also alleges that Buckeye knew the legacy code would have to be tampered with in order for their low-income housing project to meet precise compliance. Back in 2014, a developer called Pearl tried to build Tinley Park Senior Living at 17533 Oak Park Avenue, but was unable to proceed with the project because Pearl did not want to have street-level commercial in the development as the legacy code required them to build. The village said no to Pearl and would not let them build the Tinley Park Senior Living Development on the Oak Park Avenue corridor because the legacy code required that there be street-level commercial development and Pearl's project did not include street-level commercial, so it was not approved to go forward. The lawsuit alleges that Buckeye saw that unless the legacy code was tampered with, that Buckeye's low-income housing project would be rejected the same way that the Pearl Tinley Park Senior Living Development was rejected. Buckeye, Amy Connolly, Thomas Melody, and others then worked in various ways to tamper with the legacy code so that Buckeye was not blocked the way that Pearl was blocked, according to the lawsuit. The lawsuit aims to finally discover what did Amy Connolly and Thomas Melody know and when did they know it. The lawsuit alleges that Connolly and Melody both tampered with the legacy code and that all changes to the zoning ordinance that they were involved with are void because they did not follow the law when making these illegal and improper changes. 
Connolly never printed a proper notice in the paper about a hearing by the Plan Commission for a proper change to the Legacy Code. She never printed the correct text wording for the changes that she and Melody were forcing through, and she also did not print a notice after the Legacy Code text amendment vote was tabled on 8-20 of 2015, and then taken up again at the 9-3-2015 Plan Commission meeting. The accurate text being changed in the zoning code was required by law to appear in the newspaper, and Connolly did not print that accurate text, which resulted in the legacy code being illegally tampered with to read street-level commercial permitted instead of street-level commercial required, as the legacy plan intended the legacy code to read. Connolly had at one point printed that the code would be changed to commercial allowed, but she never printed the commercial permitted wording in the newspaper. Connolly and Melody both took actions that only benefited Buckeye and harmed the Tinley Park Legacy Plan's vision for commercial development, according to the lawsuit. Many have asked if Kleinthorpe Jenkins' attorney, Thomas Melody, has given incompetent or negligent advice. The village attorney from the questionable law firm Kleinthorpe Jenkins is named in the lawsuit personally for his role in tampering with the 2011 Legacy Code Zoning Ordinance. Count 3 in the lawsuit specifically names Melody as being responsible for improper actions that intentionally were calculated to tamper with the Legacy Code in specific ways that were designed to help Buckeye avoid Pearl's fate. Melody seems to have been working on Buckeye's behalf and not on the behalf of Tinley Park citizens whose tax dollars pay Kleinthorpe Jenkins legal bills for his services as the village's attorney. Either he is incompetent and didn't know what he was doing was wrong, or Melody intentionally did what he did to tamper with the legacy code to sneak Buckeye through. The lawsuit filed by taxpayers seeks to accomplish three things. Number one, remove all the illegal changes that Amy Connolly and Thomas Melody made to the legacy code zoning ordinance because this illegal tampering is void. Goal number two, Halt all action by Buckeye on the reserve project because the legacy code requires street-level commercial development and just like the Tinley Park Senior Living Development that was denied because it did not meet code requirements, Buckeye's reserve project should be similarly denied because it does not meet the street-level commercial required mandate of the legacy code. Goal 3. Answer questions about the actions taken by Connolly and Melody to tamper with the Legacy Code Zoning Ordinance and what the Mayor, Village Trustees, and the Plan Commission members knew about Connolly's and Melody's actions that resulted in tampering with the Zoning Ordinance in an arbitrary, intentional, and capricious way that specifically benefited the Buckeye Community Hope Foundation at the detriment of Tinley Park homeowners. If the lawsuit is successful, Everything that Amy Connolly and Thomas Melody did to tamper with the Legacy Code Zoning Ordinance would be void and removed from the zoning codes. The Legacy Code would be restored to what it was before Connolly and Melody tampered with it. Buckeye Community Hope Foundation would be held to the same code that Pearl was held to, which means that the reserve project cannot be built unless it would have the commercial required development that doomed the Pearl project and will doom Buckeye unless they agree to have the street level commercial as the legacy code requires. Connolly, Melody, and other village employees and trustees would be forced to answer on record what they did, when they did it, and why they did it. The true extent of collusion between Buckeye and Connolly, Melody, and others will be revealed in the lawsuit discovery process. Steps can then be taken to ensure nothing like this ever happens again in Tinley Park. Fox from Storytime Digital Media, where we tell your stories. Reporting from Tinley Park.